Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Teela here. So today I am going to be showing you guys what is in my college backpack, what I take with me to college, and my number one college essential. So stay tuned until the end of the video for you guys to see that. And without further ado, let's hop on. What? So without further ado, let's just hop right on into the video. I started college at you know, Central Texas College uh, fall of 2018. At first I was gonna go for kinesiology and if you don't know that's pretty much the study of the science of the way that the body moves and everything like that. I changed my degree plan to commercial arts. The cool thing is that as long as you know your little girl passes all of her classes this semester I will be graduating with my associates in commercial arts this May. I am super excited. Plus, my graduation is my mom's birthday, so I'm like, that's pretty freaking cool. First thing that I take with to my classes is my camera bag because last semester I was in film photography with one of my absolute favorite professors, and I am having her again this semester for digital photography. Now, I am super stoked because I have fallen in love with photography. I wish I could buy all the accessories and all the different cameras, but I'm broke. I have nothing in this pocket. I have nothing in my side pocket. So we're just gonna open this bad boy up. Okay guys, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Um, my camera is used. And if you are wondering, it is a Nikon D3200 um, in red. And I love this. I've actually been taking pictures with it all break. And I think I emptied my SD card because my professor messaged us to uh, empty our SD card. So I had to dump like 400 photos. But most of those photos are from my dog's Instagram, which if you guys don't know, her Instagram is down in the description box below because she is a little pet influencer. You know, you guys did already get a discount in her bio for your pets, so go on and check that out. Next up in my little top compartment here, so I have my charger for my battery. Next up, I have some different sized little lens balls and they just look like this. You can totally see me upside down, but that's okay. I need to get that to focus. And then next, I have this little prism this thing is so helpful and lastly I have this little like crystal doodad and then in this little compartment I'm not gonna dig all those out just because it's a lot basically it is um, camera accessories like fairy lights uh, a CD for reflections things like that very simple very easy things to use around the house but I am a little bit of an opportunist when it comes to photography and now my backpack that is really, really heavy. <laughs> um, uh, oh my gosh, okay. This is my backpack. This is the purple uh, Everest rolling backpack. And I am excited to use this. I'm going to um, set this beside me. This is heavy. Oh my god. <sighs> the funny thing about this backpack is that not only was I looking for a rolling backpack, but I was looking for a backpack that has more compartments because if you guys have watched my past i want to say two or three what's in my backpack videos i had this backpack from j world new york it is a great backpack it's totally fantastic but when i got that backpack i was only taking two classes on campus now this semester, I am I have three on-campus classes on Mondays and Wednesdays and one on-campus class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So your girl needs some more space and an easier way to bring all of her stuff to school because let me tell you guys, I thought that everything that was in this backpack, try to put that in the J-World New York backpack, I was going to break my bag. It was pretty bad. And I know everyone that I talk to, everyone that I know says that I overpack, but it's kind of hard to not do that in college because you don't know what might happen, when it might happen, if something's gonna happen. Starting on the side pocket, this is just my CTC water bottle that I got. And this is actually pretty cool and I'm gonna show you guys why. Ooh. The reason this is so cool is because first of all, there's a little compartment back here for your keys, ID, 
and whatnot that just opens right up like there's even a little tea symbol in here and then here is the awesome thing about this so bad story every time I get a water bottle there is always a risk for me spilling anything that I drink and there's also always 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 the chance of me basically missing my mouth somehow when I try to drink uh, out of a water bottle so the cool thing about this is that you can open it up here but here's the thing it's not open so what you do is there's an auto seal button on the other side and you see that little opening right there yep so you can auto seal your water bottle so basically it has two ways to ensure that the bottle is closed and it also has a little hook basically that you can hook it on your backpack i personally prefer to have my water bottle on the side of my backpack but in the little side pocket on the top i generally keep a chapstick and then i have started keeping a lock with me um in my backpack because i am contemplating going to the gym at ctc next i have this little pocket right here and in that little pocket i keep two tahini bars i am going to talk about these in a future video for quick and easy college snacks so keep an eye out for that but this one is pistachio flavored and then this one is cocoa nibs flavored and now that i look this one that's my backpack we are going to go into this big compartment right here the first thing that i always keep in my backpack is my keys of plenty next i have my trets air headphones so these things are freaking amazing you guys seriously if you guys want a review on these i will do one i will do one because these are seriously awesome they are bone conduction headphones i'm not going to get too much into this because this is about what's in my college backpack but you guys this is one of my essentials not the main essential but this is one of my essentials next i have my pencil bag nothing has really changed in my pencil bag except for these pens right here i went and got some nifty looking pens from the bookstore but everything else if you want a more in-depth look into what's in my pencil bag you can go check out my other videos that's what's in my backpack related i will have them linked all in the description box below for you guys next this is a pack of pilot friction pens and why would you get these specific pens you asked so i ordered the law of attraction planner that is technically reusable as long as you have these specific pens and they have to be these specific pens because they are erasable ink with you know heat next up you guys saw this in my what i got for christmas video and i have this in my bag because i am taking drawing one and i'm gonna ask my professor if there's anything in here that i can actually use next which you guys will be getting a video on shortly is my law of attraction planner now this is from freedom mastery and i have gone through the struggle with trying to figure out why my planner looks so different from everyone else's next to my backpack i have some textbooks and i'm a little perturbed with the college because uh they had our art history books last semester as physical copies and now we have an ebook next i am taking invitation to world religions um this is my one online class and i actually really like the textbook but yeah this is my online class and lastly i do have a book for photography this is the third edition of short course in photography digital next you guys also saw this in my way out for christmas video and that is the pretty gorgeous sketchbook and i'm gonna ask if i can use it in my drawing class and if i can't you know I have practice supplies and if i can i'm saving money next i keep a folder because i do have professors that hand out powerpoints or reviews and stuff like that even though me personally i do my stuff digitally but sometimes i have to have paper and also in here i keep some reinforced um uh, college ruled paper and the reason why I do reinforce is because I have a horrible habit of ripping my paper. Next, I have a cute owl case that my grandma got me. Thanks, grandma. 
This is one out of two cases that uh, she got me. I'm going to pay her back for it when my disbursement hits. This is an owl case, and inside of it, I just have my Surface Pro. I'm not going to take it out. If you want to see that kind of thing, go check out the other videos in the description box because I've already shown you guys like two or three times. And lastly, in this pocket, which I will take this out to show you guys, um, another case from my grandma. This is my full-size laptop. It looks really big compared to my face. But in here, I have my Lenovo Idea Pad. I want to say it's the S340. Um, it is really fast. This is what I've started using for editing. So it's just like this. Now we are going to go into this pocket right here. The first thing is an umbrella. Next, I have a little pack of Colorado 49ers um, cards. Next, at the bookstore, they had these um, these emergency ponchos. And I really only picked it up because, you know, one, rain. And I'm about to start riding my bike to school. But also because I'm not going to go pay out the wazoo for a poncho. And this was literally $2.50. So it wasn't that expensive, it's lightweight, and it's a bright color, which means it's not just clear and dull so that someone might miss you, like if it's pouring rain, they will see the bright yellow. Next, I have three little hair ties, and then I have one of these clear elastic um, coiled cord um, hair ties. I don't know. I keep three writing utensils, a pencil, a pen, and my stylus for my Surface Pro. There is a little like holder for each individual writing utensil in this pocket. My backpack's too heavy, so I'm not going to show you guys that. And lastly, in that pocket, I have my inhaler, and you know, it's just boom. Next, we are going to hop into this little compartment right here. And you guys, this pocket is what I consider both my self-care and my emergency pocket. The first thing that I have in here are some Tic Tac gums. These are in cool watermelon flavor. Next in this pocket, I have my Moonstone little body cream. And I really like this because it's just, it smells so good. Like, it smells really good. I have some advanced Purell um, hand sanitizer, and this is a must in college. I have two EOSs in my bag. Uh, this one, I don't, I don't know the name. I just know that this one's my favorite. Next in this pocket, I keep a little compact mirror, and I actually got this for free from a hospital. And because it is sit season, I carry cough drops with me to me the blue theme i have the extra peppermint gum uh this brand is actually certified gluten free i did a lot of research on this brand because i personally like gum because it can help me from being too hungry or it can distract me lower my anxiety stress that kind of stuff so yeah and if you really want to do something fun chew this and then drink a nice cold ball of water and it's the same effect with the cough drops. I thank my grandmother for that because that is so fun to do. I feel like every time I do it, I'm a little kid again. Kleenex because it's that time of year. And these are so cute. I actually got these in a little pack from Walmart. And I like the fact that they're more flat and they're not as bulky. And of course, you know, gotta have some lady supplies. Don't want to show that too long on camera because, you know, that's kind of weird. And the last thing in this pocket is a little glasses cloth holder. So what you do is just open it up like this and there's a little cloth inside to clean your glasses. So yeah, my college was giving these out for free and I thought, why not? Next, I'm going into this pocket right here. This is what I call my tech pocket because I love technology. So first, of course, got to have a phone charger that popped up really wonky, but I have a phone charger and if you guys don't know I do have a Galaxy S10 Plus. Next, portable charger. Always have it fully charged. You guys saw this in my previous video with my backpack but this is my little keyboard light for my Surface Pro so you can bend it in whichever way and just plug it into your computer and that kind of dealio. I have a voice recorder for really long lectures or if I'm feeling really sick that day and you know I can't listen 100% you know gotta record the professor or if you just want to record your lectures and then take your notes on it later so you can pay more attention in class and not listen to every single thing, what the professor's saying, what's on the board. If he gives out a hint for a test, voice recorder is life. Next, I have achieved overachiever status, basically, with earbuds. So this is a pair of earbuds from my last phone, which was an, a Galaxy S9. Then I have a pair of workout earbuds, which are from 
Apey, Appy. I don't remember if I bought these or if my grandparents bought these, but someone bought them. And lastly, these are earbuds that actually came with my uh, voice recorder. And now we're going to go into this little pocket right here and then just straight on into this pocket. So in a tiny, tiny compartment, I always keep travel Tylenol. And in the bigger pocket, I carry my antacids and these are um, the extra strength ones. And then like I always do in all of my bags, I keep some lactate. Sambutol um, and nausea tablets because once again, never know when somebody's gonna act up in college. And now it is time to tell you guys my number one essential for college. As a college student, you have so many documents, uh, so many files, projects, you don't have enough space in your computer, anything like that. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys get a separate storage unit. So like I have the CDA expansion pack and this is the size three terabytes. I've been using this since I started college in 2018. I it hasn't run out and i use this to dump my computers both my computers and my phone and it and my camera so this bad boy is a freaking lifesaver i really hope that you guys find this video helpful anything that i got in this video is essential for any college student especially a laptop and the c day expansion because those are just you know really awesome essentials and if you guys want to know about anything in my backpack i will have it either linked below or you can direct message me or email me with my business email and i will get back to you guys with any questions that you guys might have and i really hope that you guys all have a fantastic school year whether that is in high school college middle school and so on and so forth. And if you liked today's video and you want to connect with me and stay connected with me don't forget to check out all of my social media that is right below me. I love you guys. Bye.